Well, I'm back with another midstream design change. I didn't like this configuration. So I want all the electrolyte to enter the cell through the bottom holes. I was concerned that rather than, you know, some of it will go through here, but it could build up and overflow out the, uh, the vent holes for the gas. So I recut these gaskets. Luckily, I have lots of this, and it's cheap. Recut them like so. So the air escape is sealed off from the primary uh, electrolyte intake. I'm going to put the, the fitting for the electrolyte intake right about here on both sides. So it'll come in here, fill this up, and go through here, zigzag back and forth. Hopefully it will never get up to this point. That area up here was filled with gas. Okay, back to the grindstone, and maybe I'll come up with another design. Well, again, YouTubers, this is Mars 1952. I think I'm ready to assemble this now. I keep finding things that still need to be done, but maybe this time it'll work. Uh, all right, so scrub the plates with denatured alcohol. I thought I'd hear a little thunder in this video and scotch pipe pads and dish soap. Got nice and sparkly clean. The denatured alcohol was to take off the gummy residue from the protective film. That was another surprise. When I took that protective film off, lo and behold, I've got uh, brush stainless steel on both sides. I thought it was just on one side. So I'm going to bolt it together. Now, remember I made these holes oversized so that the vinyl tubing would go all the way through. Um, I drilled them 3 eighths of an inch. Well, that's not big enough. I had to go down and drill them a 30-second oversize. Uh, I don't remember what that is, but so anyway, put the washer on the bolt, put the vinyl on the washer, and put it through like that. So I've already done all these. So we'll just put those in. I wanted to only do three bolts per side, but way that I have the, uh, the positive terminals coming out in the middle, uh, it made it so three bolts would have a bolt right in the way, so I had to do four bolts. I would like a little, a little bit snugger fit than this on these walk. Um, Vinyl, but once we tighten it down, they will all come together. So you better put this down without losing it. Alright, so I labeled this uh, sandwich board with an end for inside and top for top so it wouldn't get messed up. Uh, start off with these fish pond liners. Lined up with that air hole, really, the vent hole the top. Next comes a positive plate. Now, I, I put this together in a stack over here already in the correct order, checked it a bunch of times, but I'm going to keep checking it on the, you know, check it the fourth time when I put it together. Try to get everything nice and lined up. Here's the gasket still stuck together. Double check my triangle here to make sure it's set so the fluid can flow out, or not out, back into the middle, flow toward the middle. It's getting dark here because it's starting to have a thunderstorm, so my video may not come out. Alright, so I've worked pretty hard to try to get these plates flat, but they're not as flat as I would like. Um, so, hopefully they'll squish down nice and flat when I clamp it down between the sandwich boards. Now this may be errant thinking, but I put the most defective, the least flat plates on the negative side, but the best plates on the positive side, and working. So it goes from best plates from the positive to worst plates on the negative. I figure if I have um, irregular voltage on the one side, it won't make as much difference. Probably that's errant thinking. I, I think I'm just being wishful. 
and I'll just edit that part out. Okay, it looks like uh, the kitten Tebow is featured in the cat plays with uh, dog tail. Tebow's trying to get into the picture. All right, so this is the middle neutral plate. Once again, no holes. Now we're working our way back the other way. This time, the water, the electrolyte is flowing from this side toward the middle. I tell you, I envy those people with the EBN cells sometimes, although I hope this will be more efficient than an EBN cell. Because the EBN cells, there's, it, it goes together one way. You've got the gasket goes on the bolts, the plates go on the bolts. Uh, you can't. It doesn't matter if you flip them back and forth. One way, it's all it goes. So with this one, there's all kinds of different ways to screw up. I've done a bunch of them. I've had to redone. I redo the video a bunch of times. I started this particular video four times. I've had to go back and fix things. All right, finally, the, the negative plate. Now, one of the things I wanted to do with this cell was solder the wires, the terminals onto the plates. Uh, zero fossil fuels is a very nice soldering video, but my soldering iron was not up to the task. I couldn't get it hot enough to solder these plates, to solder the terminals on. I could get term, uh, solder on the terminal, but nothing that was uh, hot enough to stick to the plate. Couldn't find my propane torch. Must have loaned it out. Alright, so here's the, I don't know if I showed you this before. This is why you don't use uh, OPA cutters on your wife's cutting boards. A little bit in the doghouse for that. Luckily this only costs about a quarter. Alright, so here once again inside top. Might be a little tricky to get these vinyl sleeves started in here. And take the back correctly. All right. Um, turns out I didn't have all these holes drilled out to the right size. Uh, I skipped a couple of them. They should be drilled out to 13, 30 seconds. Some of them were still at 3 eighths and I couldn't get the vinyl tubing through. So once I drilled them out, made sure all my plates were still lined up and my gaskets were still lined up. Just started at one side, put a nut on there loosely, work your way around, you know, get the, the uh, vinyl to come through. And uh, once you do that, then it's pretty easy. You get all the way around. So the vinyl is telescoped through the holes on all, all the way around. It's just a matter of putting the nuts on and tightening them down. Uh, then I'm going to put the fittings in.